Hi, I'm Andre Chatlin, and this training tip introduces our HTML5 editor for your mobile training content. Let's take a look at my first alternate mobile content. I go down to the alternate mobile content and click Launch Editor. Because this is a WYSIWYG editor, you don't need to be a programmer to add mobile content. This editor is much like any text editor you've worked with. Let's look at a few examples. First, I'm going to change my header text to Introduction. Then I'll highlight it, make it bold, keep it left justified, and then change the font to 24. Now I'm going to delete my video and replace it with a picture from my media manager. I'll stretch the picture a little bit larger. and then increase the font. Then I'm going to highlight some text to make it a hyperlink. Now if it's a link to an internet page outside of the course, this prompt will add the appropriate prefix for you. I can view and edit my page directly in the HTML source here. and I can preview the page from the editor. Looks like the hyperlink works. Now that we've got it the way we want, I'll click Submit. Also, if you've created your own mobile content using Sencha Animator, Hype, Raptivity, or another HTML tool, you can choose to upload it here. There's more help with uploading in this side note right here. Alright, let's finish off by taking a look at a preview of our page. First we see how it looks on the iPad and then on the phone. That looks pretty good to me. Because the HTML5 editor makes it much easier to create mobile learning, we added it as a custom page template. Just click Add a Page and select Custom HTML5 and you're back to the editor. That's it! Thanks for joining me for another training. Thank you.